Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 4 to the power x equals 27, and we're going to evaluate 3 to the power 6 over x. And I'll be presenting at least two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to use logarithms. If 4 to the power x equals 27, then we can go ahead and take the log of both sides, and it could be any base, and I'm going to be using the natural log, which is ln, and then bring the x to the front, that's going to give us x times ln 4 equals ln 27, and then from here, x becomes ln 27 over ln 4. So we found the numerical value of x, because we can use a calculator, even though we don't need to, and evaluate this expression. Now, we don't need to evaluate it because we're going to plug it in directly, okay? So our goal is to basically evaluate 3 to the power 6 over x. So let's go ahead and plug it in. But before we do that, instead of just writing the 3, let's go ahead and evaluate 6 over x first. What is 6 over x? 6 over ln 27 over ln 4. And then we can kind of write it as 6 ln 4 over ln 27. Awesome. Now this is going to be the exponent for 3. So if we can get something like a 3, a factor of 3, it will be helpful. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. I noticed that there's an ln27 at the bottom and there's a 6 here which might turn into a 3 if I simplify this. But in these cases, it's going to be a little helpful if you use prime numbers. So let's go ahead and write the ln4 as ln2 squared and the ln27 as ln3 cubed. So now we can go ahead and write this in the simplest form, sort of. 6 times 2 is going to be 12 ln2 divided by 3 ln3. And then when the 3 goes into 12, 4 times, you end up with 4 ln2 over ln3. Great. Now this is kind of helpful, but how do we plug it in and evaluate the expression. So this is what we have from here, 3 to the power 6 over x. We have 3 to the power 4 ln 2 over ln 3. Great. There's a couple of things you can do about it. One of them is using the reciprocal property. What is 1 over ln 3? 1 over ln 3 is actually 1 over log 3 with base e. And that could be written as log with base 3 of e. You know, when we do the reciprocal, log b with base a turns into log a with base b. Make sense? So they're kind of switched around. So now I have this expression instead of the 1 over ln 3, so I can kind of write it as 3 to the power 1 over ln 3 times 4 ln 2. And then this part can be written as 3 to the power log e with base 3, and then that'll be multiplied by 4 ln 2. But that just means that we can go ahead and take out that exponent and write it like this. And we have this nice property when we have the bases uh, 3 and the 3 are the same. They kind of cancel out, leaving us with e, and this gives us e to the power 4 ln 2. But then this 4 can be moved back and written as e to the power ln 2 to the 4th, which is e to the power ln 16, and as you know, that is equal to 16 by definition, right? So, in other words, our expression simplifies to 16. So, 3 to the power of 6 over x equals 16 if, if 4 to the power of x is 27, all right? So, that's the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Okay, again our problem is 4 to the power x is 27 and we're evaluating 3 to the power 6 over x. What could be a different way to approach this problem, right? Well, here's what, what I'm thinking about. I can go ahead and write the 27 as 3 cubed, right? But then from here I want to isolate the 3. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression, 3 to the third equals 4 to the x. And now I want to raise both sides to the power one third, right? Which is definitely going to simplify. So three and one third gives you one. 
and now we get 3 equals 4 to the power x times 1 third or x over 3. You can just directly multiply them, right? Well, now we have something that we can replace 3 with, which is nice. So let's go ahead and plug it in here. And now this becomes 3 will be replaced with 4 to the power x over 3. And then that will be raised to the power 6 over x. And as you know, the powers are going to be multiplied. So it's going to be 4 to the power x over 3 times 6 over x. And x cancels out, leaving us with 4 to the power 6 thirds or 2, which is 4 to the second power. And that is equal to 16. Awesome. Did we get the same answer? Let's check it out. Yes, we did. So that's good. Awesome. We should be getting the same answer all the time, right? Cool, cool. Now, could there be another way to approach this problem? Possibly. Uh, you could kind of manipulate the powers, but it's pretty much all going to come down to the following. Whenever you have a power of 3 here, and then you have this. I think another way to approach this problem could probably be something like we can set this equal to t and then raise both sides and let's call this the third method to the power x and then we get x cancelled out and we get 3 to the 6 equals t to the x and now I have 4 to the x equals 27 which is 3 to the third so let's square both sides here that gives us 4 to the power 2x equals 3 to the 6 but 3 to the 6 is 4 to the x and let's I mean t to the x let's uh, replace it with that and now we get the following equation 4 to the 2x I guess this could be considered a different one, right? Because I use the t here. 4 to the 2x is equal to t to the x. And 4 to the 2x can be written as 4 to the 2 to the x equals t to the x, which is 16 to the power x. Therefore, from here, t becomes 16. But of course, x should not be 0, so on and so forth. But we know that it's not. So under those conditions, t equals 16 should be okay. You see, there's a lot of different ways to approach exponential expressions as, as long as you use the power uh, or an, and logarithm properties. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.